Hello, and welcome to a Scottish bookcase with me, Baxter McLeish. This week sees a publication of a new collection of the Lowlands poet Hector Muir. Muir attracted the attention of the 18th century London critics with such works as Blaw Winds Blaw, Willie's drooned himself in a puddle again, and of course, the Ganton Earl of Muck. And with me in the studio to discuss this collection are poet Janet Bracken. Hello. Novelist William Culloden. Hello. And the editor of Mancus, the Scots Quarterly, Strachan Stoltz. Mm. <laughs> Janet, if I could begin with you. What did you make of this fine, fat, fun and haddy of a book? I absolutely adored it. And did you have any particular favourites as you savoured the book's kitty delights? I did indeed. Now, this is one of his early works, when he was courting Jean Blythe, who was later to become his wife. <laughs> Ach, Jean, you're a bonny stoter. Isn't that lovely? I'd love to be someone's bonny stoter. <laughs> Ach, Jean, you're a bonny stoter. A mere muckle pair of jugs and a wifey I've ne'er seen. And money's the nicht. I've strocked my muckledom. We thought so your big airs. <laughs> so poetic. Wonderful. <laughs> of course, Muir's an enormously lusty poet. Uh, enormously, enormously lusty. Enormously, 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 lusty. enormously, enormously. lusty poet. <laughs> William Culloden, what got your juices flowing in this veritable book of a collection? Well, coincidentally, it's, uh, it's another one dedicated to Jean Blythe, Jean. only this time after they were married. Ah, pray, let's hear your <clears throat> earthy tones. <laughs> ah, Jean. I remember weel your brother's breeks doing at his feet. <laughs> and my ardour, like an eager stoat, standing on its hind legs. <laughs> I held my wheest in one hand and his trossachs. <laughs> Enormously lost it. Enormously lusty. Enormously. Mm. Of course, it was uh, Muir's increasing fondness for alcoholic refreshments that tempered much of his later work. Isn't that right, Strachan? Oh, indeed. And uh, the piece I have chosen comes from that period. <clears throat> Ach, Jean, your proud grey mare stones in the yard where braw main comb stricht, and I'm fool with the wine. You see, Muir isn't afraid to admit his, his human frailties. What exactly do you mean by that, Strachan? Well, who amongst us would be brave enough to admit having sex with a horse? <laughs> Join us next week when we'll be discussing Robert Stewart's evocative childhood memoirs, Nut Aya Dene Dene. Until then, it's goodbye from Janet Bracken. Goodbye. William Culloden. Goodbye. Stark and Stoltz. Mm. And me, Baxter McLeish. Goodbye. What the hell are you playing now, Strachan? A bloody horse shagging nonsense. <laughs>